Hello and welcome to 60 Seconds with Sergio. I am your host, Sergio Cabanas, attorney at law here in Florida. Thank you for joining me today. Today's question is, Sergio, my relationship with my spouse has really been deteriorating. We have constant arguments, constant confrontations, and it just creates a very toxic, ugly relationship and atmosphere that is now starting to affect my health and well-being, as well as the health and well-being of my children. So tell me, what can I do to get my spouse out of the house once and for all? Well, if you think about it, under Florida law, the home that you and your spouse occupied is considered the marital home. By virtue of being the marital home, both spouses have the right to be in the marital home. So neither one has a superior right over the other, regardless of who's right or who's wrong in whoever's opinion. So the bottom line is, under Florida law, you don't have any right to evict your spouse from the house. In fact, you don't have the right to evict him or her out of the bedroom. That doesn't necessarily mean that legally you're obligated to remain in the house and submerge yourself in this toxic atmosphere if you really don't want to. You have the right to leave. There is one exception that relates to domestic violence. If your spouse has committed some kind of physical violence towards you or has threatened to use physical violence towards you, and we have evidence to that effect, you can get a restraining order which may serve to have your spouse removed from the house. Initially, the restraining order would work on a temporary basis until the court is able to have a hearing to determine whether or not the restraining order should remain in effect on a more permanent basis. Otherwise, the only other way of handling the situation of who gets possession of the house is by undergoing a divorce proceeding where a determination can be made, preferably by mutual agreement of the parties, as to which one of the parties will have exclusive use and possession of the home until it's otherwise disposed of. I hope this short video has provided you at least with some guidance over this very complicated area of the law. Of course, this is not a substitute for an actual consultation with an attorney who's experienced with these laws and can provide you with the specific guidance as to your case. Thank you again for joining me today, and as always, stay informed so you can stay strong.